Hey, this is Lizzie, and welcome back to the Game Maker Role Playing Game Tutorials. So, this video is a remake um, of uh, the original um, adding items in the inventory uh, tutorials. But uh, since this is a new system, and well, it, it needs a new video, of course. So, in this video, I'd like to go over adding and deleting items. Um, okay, so. You need to add two scripts, one called item add and item delete. Um, okay, so item add uh, basically assigns uh, the variables, or at least some of the variables from script invent init uh, to, the, to your slot objects that stand for your, each stand for your inventory slot. So, uh, I have 14 slots. You can add ha how ma however many or a few you want. And we're just gonna go over the create and destroy event in here for now, because the rest is for drawing um, and options. Okay, so in the create event, we have the default variables, and we assign new variables in the script item add. But anyways, the default the num stands for the item uh, ID that's assigned to this slot and since it's a blank slot to begin with it's the default number is negative one so basically there's no item in the slot yet um, the amount is zero so there's no uh, item there's no items in this slot name and description are blank um, these options and scripts and stuff are blank um, the uh, well it uses a well it uses uh, the food item sprite because um, there's a blank uh, slot sprite at the beginning of it that I used, and that's the uh, image index zero. Okay, in the destroy event, it creates um, a new object of itself and therefore resets the default, making a blank slot. Okay, so. In the the two arguments in the script are argument zero, which is the ID of the item you want to add. So if you want to add money, say for example a quest reward, um, just uh, use uh, um, item ID zero, whatever your money uh, item ID is. Then if you wanted to pick up a coconut, you would use uh, it would be item ID one. Okay, so. Argument one is the amount, how much of the item you want to add. Um, so you'd probably only want to add one coconut if you're picking up a coconut. Um, but if it was a quest, maybe you'd have like 100 coins or something to the inventory. Anyways, um, so the first condition it checks is whether you are overloaded, basically. It checks if global weight is smaller than global max weight. So you can't carry, um, you can only carry so many, so much weight before you uh, collapse. So you can't add items to the inventory if you are, um, if you don't have enough room. And so if you don't have enough room, it goes all the way down here and uh, shows a message: you aren't strong enough to carry any more items. And it drops the item. But I'll be getting into dropping and stuff later. Anyways. Um, Within this condition, if it is met, it uh, first checks each slot in reverse um, for space. If uh, so, in other words, if slot fourteen dot num, you know the item ID assigned to slot fourteen, if it already equals the item ID you want, in other words, if you want to add coconuts and there's already a coconut in slot fourteen, it adds another coconut there. If uh, there isn't any coconuts there, it checks slot 13, and so on. All the way to slot 1. And then when you reach, then it go, goes and does it uh, in the uh, forward order. But it, a few things are different. If it checks whether um, the slot is empty or if that item is already in slot 0. Okay. So. Um, and it goes all the way down, does that to slot 14. 
So don't worry, I'm going to post this on my website, the code, so you can just copy that in. That's why I'm skimming. Anyways, uh, yeah, so let me uh, show you a visual of that. Okay, so if I click on this jug here, it adds it there. So what it did is it checked slot 14, do slot 1, and it found that slot 0 was empty. So it uh, put the jug there. And ta-da! <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I can just keep adding these. Yeah, okay. Um... And in the, uh, now we'll open the script item delete. And, oh, sorry. First, let me say, show you how it's possible, what this code looks like for picking up a jug. My apologies for being confusing yet again. Um, so the code is basically script execute script item add. Um, so the item ID for the jug is 25, so that's an argument zero. And then I only want to add one of those, so it adds the amount is here, argument one. And it's really simple. You can see it makes uh, very quick programming using scripts like that. But anyways, uh, the same applies to script item delete. You would you know, type delete here. And you would uh, delete uh, this, uh, and uh, yeah, oh, go ahead and delete. It che first checks uh, if uh, uh, it checks in the proper order each slot to see if it's num variable, if it's the item ID assigned to the slot object, um, is the proper item ID that you want to delete. So let's say you want to delete a jug, and uh, argument zero is the proper ID for item jug. Um, it then uh, deletes the uh, amount from that proper uh, slot object, uh, argument one, and it uh, subtracts the weight. Uh, it just it subtracts the proper weight. So. I think like uh, jug it adds one weight, so you want to uh, l let some weight off when you um, drop it or delete it or whatever. And um, if uh, and then it um, there's a little condition within this condition. If uh, object, sorry, sorry, if it checks if basically if uh, there is no amount left, if the amount is zero, if there is basically if the if there's no amount left, um, it destroys the proper slot object. And that brings us back to destroy. When it's destroyed, it creates a blank um, slot object, and uh, so that makes it empty inventory thing, inventory slot. So it's as simple as that, and uh, you're probably going to want to go to my website and copy this code into your game, but uh, uh, no credit needed. Um, that's it, and well, thanks for watching.